Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance for part number four. Here we are back um, in the Miller area. Peshnex Miller. We're not going to knock him out. Um, I wonder if we can actually store stuff into here that we don't really need. Um, I think we pretty much need everything we've got, don't we? 48 of 82, that's pretty good. We've got a little bit of food on us, which is good as well. I haven't got a great deal. I wonder how much, um, whoops. I wonder how much we actually, um, what was I was going to say then, how much food we lost, lost overnight. Nourishment's 89, so we don't need a great deal of food. Did I put, I, was say, I thought I did put something in there. Get out of the way, you bastard. Um, can we talk? Don't go climb up there, mate. See if there's anything new that he wants us to do. Good be with you. <laughs> Let's talk to the floor. Um, training. No. Um, do you have any work for me? Would you happen to have any work for me? Of course I would. And, surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ringleader. The ringleader. <laughs> so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some wenching. Too drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back, and the baths deny all knowledge. Why not mm. turn to the bailiff? Why not? Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his bathhouse visits. And the girls in the baths are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it. So you go to the baths for a wash and a uh, wash and a tug, I <laughs> guess you can call it. Uh, you can count on my help. Done. Provided I get something out of it. Don't worry. You won't be left short. The ring's hidden in the chest in the bathhouse madam's chambers. In the madam's chambers. Okay. Come back with it once you have it. Thick as thieves. All right. Um... Probably not much else we can do in here, is there? So the bathhouse chambers are just like... Oh, bathhouse is just over here somewhere, isn't it? Actually, no. Ah, yeah, there. We've already been there. Um, the tanner. We really need to get into the town and have a good look around, I think. That's probably something we're going to do this episode. Don't know how much action we're going to see, but... Um, I wonder if sprinting... Um, Takes a lot more of our nourishment as well. As well. Probably drops our energy a little bit quicker. Uh, a few people have also commented on my settings. So if I go to graphic settings, um, 1920, 1080, borderless, high. Um, let's go. Whoop, ultra high. Show FPS. Can we save changes? Yes. I thought it was on max. Maxed out, but if you guys are wondering what um, my PC specs are, have a look down in the description, right down the bottom. You'll see a description like the game description. Then you'll have um, my PC specs, which includes my, my my sim rig, triple screen steering wheel that I use for all my other racing games, and also um, my PC specs. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Oh, it's taken a bloody while, which is unfortunate. Probably should have checked it before I started recording, but anyway, hopefully you guys don't mind too much. We can do the black screen. We'll do some uh, fancy fancy figure eight mouse work. Uh, I can do love hearts. I can draw some funny things. <laughs> some boobies. Oh, I don't know. Noughts and crosses. Oh, come on game, can't be this hard. Only change in the body graphics it shouldn't really take this much. Might as well quickly check my emails on my phone while we're waiting. Nothing exciting, just a few emails from work. Which definitely isn't exciting. Oh, halfway there. The loading times haven't been too bad, actually. I wonder if um, this will affect the loading times a lot more because I've bumped the graphics up a fair bit. 
possibly will, so I'll have to wait and see, I guess. Oh, um, this series is going to come on a Tuesday night from now on. So we usually have Gold Rush the game on a Tuesday night at 6pm Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Um, but I've decided in Gold Rush at the moment, we're sort of just um, digging a hole, throwing it in, washing it, getting gold, digging a hole, throwing it in, washing it, getting gold. I mean, that's the aim of the game anyway. But I think I'm going to leave that series on pause for a little while maybe until we get some more dlc or something exciting happens with the game and then we'll jump back into it and hit it hard again but there's not a great deal going on in that at the moment so this will take over okay, let's go resume Ooh, okay does that look any better it doesn't really we've got our frame rate up the top left anything above 30 frames i'll be happy with I mean, optimal, I'd like 60 frames, but it's it's not looking that good, is it? Um, we don't want... Oh, that's advanced graphic settings. Let's just put it back to high. Is it going to take just as bloody long? I hope not. Oh, there's nothing wrong with high in the first place. No, there we go. Awesome. I'm not going to worry too much about um, graphics. It's just going to give us a little bit more frame rate. Um, knock knock. I wonder if the madam's chambers is upstairs. We probably should do this over night time, shouldn't we? Is there? Oh, there's a chest over there. Okay. Um. Why are they locking all the doors? This is probably a nighttime job, I think. Try and sneak in and um Who's down in here? Can we see who's down in here? I don't know if there's anybody down in here. You would think that's a madam's chambers upstairs. I definitely think that um yeah, we've got arrows. Let's check in for arrows. Um, where we can go. Let's um. We've we been up here. Have we been up here? I don't know. Let's let's just head into the main castle. We might come back and do that at a night time when we know everyone's asleep. We might be able to break in and um, get in there without being noticed. Because obviously there was a lady asleep up the top and there was a guy awake. So if they were both asleep. I'd probably um, break in and do it now, but you'll have to wait. Especially if we lockpick it, then they come out and go back in and lock the door again. It's going to be a bit of a waste of time. So, Obviously, if you guys watched the live stream episode, we did um, kill a lot of pigs um, over at the Undertaker's house. And the weight, ooh, the, um, weight of the pork meat is pretty heavy, but it's very valuable as well. Can we steal this horse? Oh, Jesus. That scared the shit out of me then. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, woo woo! Uh, how's our nourishment? 88. I think we'll be over nourished if we eat. Oh, we can sleep here too. That's awesome. So we can pretty much sleep anywhere we want. Um. Here's the guard, we'll talk to the guard. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm, I'm Henry. Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Thvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Um... I may not look yeah. more... But I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Wasn't too bad, considering. Ooh, let's pickpocket him. No, let's not. We don't need to. Um, discover the camp. So I want to try and go through and find what all these things are because it'll be interesting to have a good look around so that's where we've got to go for the quest um, we can pickpocket all these people because they're asleep but there's too many people around to 
see us, I think. Hello. Vagabond. Let's talk to this guy. Good day to you. What do you need? Um, How does go through everything. Them Ratai folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work. And they won't let us bag. So, what are we supposed to do? Ah, so he's from Skelets, I assume. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslaus. Yeah, okay. What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. That's the main thing. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wives' tales, but I hear truly terrible things. All right. Uh, what are you hanging, are you around, hanging for? around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. Um. Uh... What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without well, you shouldn't be pouncing on me. Trying to steal from so people. You're a pickpocket. Alright, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, ah. if you can get them from his pocket back into mine where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. Interesting. What do you say? All right. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazder of the Guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. All right. I'm not giving him 50 groschen. We've got plenty of groschen, don't we? 580, but you're not giving any of mine, you bastard. No way. We still... Man. Yeah. Still 50 groschen. There's a grindstone, which is where? Here. Can we actually use it, though? Start with the shard. Um, angle... Ah, okay. I have no idea. I've, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, angle. I'll tell you if this is good or not. <laughs> we rotate the whole thing over or not? I have no idea what we're doing, to be honest. Okay, help. Um, if you want to maintain bladed weapons, you can save your repair kit and hang yourself on a grindstone. The weapon must be owned along the whole length of the blade. You select which part using this. The blade must be held at the correct angle to grindstone. If angle is too shallow, the edge won't be sharpened. If it's too steep, you can dull the blade. It could, you can control the angle using that. Um, press that to, and use to release your stamina. Yep, okay. So we were doing it right anyway. Uh, let's stop. Does that actually do anything? Weapons... It's 98. Was it 97? I don't know. Wait, is this the blacksmith? He's an artisan, so I assume he's the blacksmith. Good day to you. 
What do you need? About Rate. Um, no, we don't need to worry about how Rate is. Why do people just leave their doors open? Never mind, I'm coming out. Uh, what are these places around here? There's a grocer. Weaponsmith. Interesting to find out. Like, is he the weaponsmith or someone? Oh, there's an armor up. It'd be good if there was actual, actual signs. Let's give ourselves a quick wash. I wish make sure we look presentable. Um, let's come back up here. What's upstairs? Ooh, lockpicks. I'm not going to unlock any of these doors. Townsman, she's a trader. Ah, what are you doing here, you bastard? Let's talk to Kunesh. Trust him to bloody escape. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? <laughs> you bastard. You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. Good. Fine. I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt. That is. Mm, talk then. All right then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well then. Talk. When we were running from Scalets, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut, and that's it. That's all I know. How many dove cots could there be in Scalix? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find what it. What the hell is a dove coat Fine. or a dove cot? Let's see. Um. Scavenger. Find the treasure under the dove cot. What the hell is a dove cot? Is it anywhere or is it? Is that it? Ah, okay. At least it leads us to where it's. Oops, excuse me. So this is the weapon smith in here. Ooh. Let's steal all these things. So what are you, the swordsmith? And what are you, the shop guy? Oh. Jesus, not very Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. Nobody, nobody's there at all. Let's see what he's got. Could do with some more arrows. Jesus Christ be praised. Yes. Uh, about repairs. Okay, so we can repair all of these things. Can't repair that. Select. Haggle. I like the haggle because it gives us some um, speech skill. Aye. Aye. He wants 5.8, didn't he? Let's give him 5. Agree? He won't agree to it. Well, now, a little more and we'll shake on it. Alright. Ooh, 5. 2. Is this enough? Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. Oh, he's getting angry. Uh, five, four will do. Oh, that's a decent price. I don't think we can do it ourselves, so... Alright, we'll talk to him again, see what he's got. Uh, let's talk trade. Okay, weapons. What does the most damage? A Herod's Sword, 1.6k, holy dooly. Bailiff's Mace. Shamanial Mace. A Pricker. <laughs> a needle. 
Merchant Sword. God, there's some expensive stuff in here. Has he got no armor? Blacksmith's kit. So what does a blacksmith's kit do? God, they're expensive. Wow. Yeah, no thanks. We could steal your stuff would be better. What the hell is she doing? Looks like she's begging for something. Have a chat with her. Uh, how's life in Rutte? Rutte? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was an account of our silver and how Sir Radzig sides with the king. Fair enough. There's too many guards around here to pickpocket up. Okay, so we've got... Ooh, pretzels and pancakes. She's a trader. She's a trader as well. Where's the, um... Where's the armorer? Is he down here? Surely he wouldn't be down here. I wonder where he actually is. Ah, he's trying to jump. So there's a swordsmith. Where's the armorer? I have no idea. If you look at the map, it's like he's like right there. Unless he's around the other side of um the next building. To be reduced to begging. But what am I to do, good folk? Scallet lies in ruins. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's an alchemy bench. Oh. Where could he have vanished to? Aha! I have no idea where you're going. Okay, we'll surrender. Maybe we shouldn't pickpocket. No, we didn't. We were just practicing. Well, you get this in a hurry because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. No, it won't. Um. Oh come on, my friend. Ah, damn it. it. All right. All right. Just give me all the things you stole. We didn't take anything. Get out of the way, you buggers. Oh, uh, did we come? No, we didn't come through. That's a church. Got to work out where we came through now, because there's an alchemy bench in there somewhere. Okay, so the tailor. He's in here. That's not... Is that the armor in here? Ah, it is. There we go. Oh, how many guards do you need? No, he's an artisan. You're the armor smith and you're the shop guard. Oh, Jesus. It'd be nice to get an arm um, shield. See how that works. My respects to you. And to you, my friend. Um, training. Repairs. Show me how to repair armor and weapons better. Certainly. It'll cost us though. Beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost. Of course, cost it'll me. cost us uh, sixty groschen. Isn't that quite a lot? We'll go fifty. Agree. That's not enough. How angry is he? Always. Oh, Pretty bloody angry. Let's go at 54. What do you say to this? Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. Oh, he's really angry now. Sorry, but I'm not going to teach you for that. Ah, I will. Can you show me how to re Certainly. skip through this? We've got beginner. All right. Let's just pay it. Now. Whatever. 
There's a new level in maintenance. Okay. Alright, so where are we? Go player, uh, skills, maintenance. Hmm. Awesome, okay, so. 3, 6, 9, 12, okay. It allows you to repair things with the repair kits and weapons at grindstone. The higher your skill level, the easier it is to use the grindstone, and the longer your repair kit will last. Um. Okay, interesting. It's pretty good. Let's um talk. Trade. So he's got some shields. What's a cheaper shield? Bit of a shame that we can't really choose anything. Let's um add that to the basket. What about armor? Something we need to um. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. So visibility is going to go through the roof, of course. Look at the price of these things, though. Wow. We sort by money. It's amazing. The dearest thing is 3.5 thousand. Um, others, armors, kits... Hercules and his, his diet. A skill book on strength. Grab that. Small armorer's kit. Uh, let's check basket and haggle a little bit. It's a lot of money. Let's have a word about the price. Sure. Why not? 150. Let's go. 130. Since it's you. Well now. A little more, and we'll shake on it. Okay. Mm, no deal, then. Oh, come on. Give me the bloody chance. Uh, talk trade. Go back in. Uh, it was that one I think we got. Oh, we'll grab that one. Who cares? Um... Other that might haggle. We'll go down to I'd one. Like to discuss the prop. Sure. Might go not go down as far this time. Let's go one forty. Agree. Come now. Come on. You're free. Come now. He's not moving. Oh, well, we'll have to take it. I knew we come. Alright, that's interesting. Let's go uh, weapons. Be good to see how it actually works. So none of them have arrows, which is a little bit annoying. But um, we'll come back down through here. So we've got the tailor over there. This is a private area, is it? Ooh, what does beer do? It's just normal beer. Take. Do we take these? Are we? Is it stealing? A bit of herb liquor that will put strength in your blood, but also bewilder your eyes with strange visions. Now I want to check. Is that? Well, it's not coming up as stolen. So let's see what else we can find. Oh, now that's coming up as rob. Okay, so let's not take anything from there. Scales there, of course. Nothing in here we can uh, borrow. What's this downstairs? What's this? Oh, this must be the jail. Oh, we don't want to pickpocket him. I want to talk to him. There must be the things that people have stolen that we just picked up then. Um, let's have a look upstairs. It's a private area. Actually, let's go. Um, this read. Yeah, I have no idea what any of that says, but let's study. Okay, so we need the reading skill. Okay, I'm getting out of here, mate. Don't you worry. Oh, it's a shovel. 
Um, watch ourselves. Let's come in here and see what the tailor's got. Ooh, what she's got, I should say. So what do you, you're the tailor and you're the trader and you're probably the shop guard, of course. I wonder if you could um, sneak in these places at night time and steal stuff. That'll be interesting. Sort by... Um, wow, some of these things are so pricey. It gives us extra charisma. Extra charisma as well. And so does that. All these things gives us extra charisma, which is great. It's good how you get all different colours and stuff. It's awesome. Sunday dress. Why can't we wear a Sunday dress? That'll be interesting. Um, let's go buy money. 1.4k, wow. Tailor's kit, small tailor's kit. Uh, what does that do? We don't really need that. Um, talk to this guy. wonder if he it's got the same sort of stuff. Good health to you. Then to you. Bat repairs. Ah, okay, so he will um wow, it's bloody expensive. Yep, not gonna repair it. We could if we could repair it ourselves. Um come through here. This is probably locked. Yep. Where is Where was the herbalism thing? There. Alchemy bench. So it must be inside here. Which I think this is the church, isn't it? Um, so we've got... Nothing there. Start alchemy. Okay. Um, you learned alchemy. Have we got any... Uh, help. Okay, an alchemy is useful skill that transforms herbs and other ingredients into potions and remedies. In order to brew those, you need to knowledge of alchemy. A recipe, a recipe, an alchemist bench, and the necessary ingredients. The alchemist tab, the alchemist lab, you will find the right side of the bench, a herborium, which lists all the properties and herbs. They're all the recipes you have so far learnt. Um, it's always best to follow the recipe in the book by holding E on the recipe and you can also set all the necessary ingredients straight onto the alchemy bench. The degree of difficulty of brewing itself varies and each recipe requires a variable number of steps. First step is always to pour the potion base which you will sure find on the shelf to your left. Then you add the ingredients to the cauldron from the shelf on the right. If the recipe demands that you must take care to grind ingredients using the mortar and pestle you can Use the dish next to the mortar and pestle to prepare these ingredients. The next step is to brew the mixture. Prescribe flame. Uh, okay, you must be careful to time how long you brew the potion for using the sand glass. Um, okay. Can we uh, read? There we go. What do we need? Belladonna. That's Shavia Snaps. Um, no. Can't read what any of this stuff says. Herbs. The so Nettle and Belladonna, which I don't think we have. Okay, interesting. Let's go into here. Are they in... Um, out of this actually inventory we've got nettle we don't have any belladonna which I think that's um, Savia Schnapps so we really need some belladonna which um, I do know where to find it because I think there is a um, um, a guide that someone's already done okay there's a scribe in here so let's go in and see what the scribe actually does. This might be where we can buy potions and stuff from. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, so he's got Sage. Ah, Belladonna, that's what we need. We're not going to steal it, though, we'll talk to him. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright eyed and bushy tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. Well, I didn't even know you'd seen us before. We're feeling as good as new. Ah, oh, oh, this is the guy we owe money to, of course. Uh, about that about debt. That debt. It'll take me a while longer. No, we'll pay him. We'll pay him. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honour. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um, who can teach me to read? to read? Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. <laughs> he to say Ushitz. Um, okay, let's... Oh, game saved. That's good. Belladonna. He's got five. Let's grab all of those. Um, others, aren't they? Um, nettle. We'll grab all of those as well. There's heaps of recipes here too. Why are they expensive? Wild board tusks. Oh, that's interesting. Um, food. He's got plenty of food. Save your schnapps. One hundred. They're probably the most expensive thing. Yeah. Uh, oh no! Back. Uh, baskets will haggle a little bit, not too much. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure, why not? Uh, fifteen point five. Let's go thirteen point five. Since it's you. Well, now a little more, and we'll shake on it. Oh, okay. Oh, he's come quite close to us. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Thank you. All right, let's run back around quickly. Oops, and try not to fall in the water pot there. I oh, discovered a nest. We're not going to look on the ground this time. We know it's up in the bloody air. Where is it? There, straight ahead somewhere. So it'll be in this tree. There it is. Oh, Groshen. Only one, but better than nothing. Birds must be bloody flying around stealing people's money. All right, let's start alchemy. Let's uh, read. Let's prepare. What do we need though? It doesn't say anything about it. Um, that one. Is that what it, it is? Yeah, so it's wine. So it's wine. One nettle and two belladonna. So, wine. Um, one nettle. Actually, we're going to have to go. Let me quickly go and check this thing out. Um, add wine, select the nettles, select the belladonna, add it to the mortar in front of you. Okay, so the nettles go straight into the cauldron. You probably shouldn't be... Um, well, I wouldn't say it's cheating, but... And we need to grab that and put it in the mortar. So does that count as one or two? Okay, so we need two in the mortar. So if we learn how to do this, we'll um we'll be able to sell this for lots of money. Well, I'll quickly read. Um, okay, so we need to. Do that and then add it to the dish. We need to. Um, where's the bellows? How do we. Ah, bellows, there we go. The 
they did do it till it boils. There we go. And turn that once. There you go. Is that finished? Can't tell if it's actually finished. I'll turn it again. Turn it twice. Oh yeah, it is okay. So it goes pretty quick, considering. Then we need to use that. Add it to there. Turn that again. Then once it's finished, we need to grab the file. Use. Now if that's worked correctly, your brood save your snaps. Woohoo! That worked well. Um, let's jump out, let's have a look. Um, food, save your snaps, they're worth a hundred. We've got three of them at the moment, so that's awesome. We can, we can probably make another one. So let's do another one. We'll um, read, we'll prepare, so we need to add the wine, we need to add the nettle, I remember how to do this properly, into the cauldron, we need to grab two belladonnas, Another one. Use the mortar and pestle. Has he got, I'm not sure if he's got blood on his gloves or is that just because they're worn so bad? Uh, put it in a dish. Alright, let's go. Turn the sand glass over. Cauldron's boiling, that's what we need to see. Turn it over again. Give it some more heat. There you go. Pick up the dish. Drop it in. Turn the timer again. Grab the file. Oh, we can't do the bellows while we've got this in our hand. Hopefully that was enough. You brood, save your snaps. You've reached a new level in alchemy. Awesome. Let's go into player. Uh, skills, alchemy, level 1, awesome. Level 3, so these ones, Witcher, potion will fill up to 30% less, which means you can drink more of them and more often, or fill you up, okay. Filling potions will heal 50% more, but also intoxicate you 50% more. Cured or cooked food in your inventory will spool 20% more slowly. Ah, that's pretty good actually. That'll be great. Um, routine. Auto brew potions. You'll produce three potions of the price one, so that'll be awesome. So alchemy is definitely something that um I want to look at. Um, final offer. Highborn. I think we'll go final offer with that. Um, inventory. All right, let's get out of here. We've still got a few things to look at, and we're um already up to forty-five minutes, so. Um, trader, we'll go straight up here, 
We'll see who these few places are. There's a few more to explore yet. What is this? These people are begging. I hate seeing people beg. This must be like a food butcher. There we go. I wonder if we can... Oh, it's actually stolen though. If we kill the pigs and sell meat to them and it's class of stolen. Yeah, it's probably not going to look good, is it? They probably won't buy it. Um, let's talk trade. Okay, so she's got bacon, beef, boar meat is worth a lot. Let's see what's worth the most. Yeah, red deer venison, rump. What's rump from? Beef, okay. Cracklings, is that from pork? Yeah, awesome. Deer meat, bacon, salami, dried meat, hair meat, sausage, pork, beef, lamb, chicken, horse meat. Well, horse meat isn't worth very much. Which doesn't surprise me at all. Okay, that's interesting. Make so, no. Um, maybe we can sell meat to this lady. There. You're just a guard, so we won't worry about you. Private place. Yes, okay. You need? No. Oh, he's the butcher. What is that? Sausages. Hey, I'm just checking out your... Your area, mate. Chill out. Let's um, head up the street here and see what else we can find. There must be a quest giver in here somewhere. There's a puppy dog. Let's open this door. Milan. Townswoman. What do you or want townswoman. Oh. It or I'll call a guard. We want to talk to this dude. We're friends. We're friendly people. Um, you fight for coin. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Uh -huh. Hang on, I know who you are, and I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? What's wrong with his face? Why silver? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labour, but you, you've got coin. That we do. What are the rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Got it. Let's fight. Alright, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers. Steven Something on his face there. It's a bit Ringo. of a bug, I think. Alright, let's go. Where are they? Um, no, let's end dialogue. Let's get it. Hey, I'm getting out of here before you call the police. Or the guards, or whatever they call them. Get out of it. Ooh. We could kill this thing and sell the meat. Wonder, no, we can't cook anything there. It'd be good to find places that we can actually cook things. Where, um. What's that? Weaponsmith. Where are these guys we need to fight? I don't know, there's someone over here, so we'll go over to this one. I will punch you out, mate. steal the torch. Is this the grocer here? Uh, looks like it is. Conrad Hagen. We'll talk to this guy. God be with you. God be with you too. Uh, let's talk trade. Antidotes, apples, beets, cheap wine, fine wine. Long distance arrow, he's got 10 of those. Mm, let's add them all to the basket. Ordinary arrow, actually they're cheaper. Why don't we just buy ordinary arrows? Oops. We don't need long distance arrows, I don't think. Um, Shavia schnapps. He's got a spade. Trout, white, wounding arrow. Let's go, basket. Let's... Yeah, let's... 
remove those. Um, what can we sell? Is there anything we can... What's that? Did we buy that? We, st oh, we stole it, didn't we? Uh, Belladonna. Bianca's ring. I'm not going to sell that. We paid for that bloody thing. Marigold. Marigold. The Coction. Got some salami. We might as well sell that. Wine. It's only worth 1.1. Shave your schnapps. We've got six of them. I don't want to get rid of them because um, we're probably going to need them. Especially if we're doing a let's play. It would be good to keep them. If we can brew them, it would be great. Um, let's go 40. What do you say to this? That's not enough. Well, give me a price. Is this enough? Well, a little more and we'll call it so a Use the perk final offer, which is good. We'll just have to take it. I'll go for that. Alright, let's go back into our weapons. Let's go ordinary arrow. I wonder if that will actually um, auto reload like we've been having a little bit of trouble with. Where's the next place? Same side of the road, there's two places on the next same side of the road. What's this place though? This looks like a shop as well, so I wonder why this is just a obviously a food and veg fella. Got some fish. I wonder if we can actually go fishing. That'd be pretty good. Um There's another dog over there, no one have to Hey, there's a baker. Go in and see what he's got. She's got, I should say. Let's talk trade. Bread, bread rolls, honey, milk, pretzels and sweet pancakes. Yeah, no thanks. Thank you, come again. Um, nothing down there. There's lots of people around. I wonder, um, one here and one here, but there's nothing. There's the bars. Where's the other job that we had to fight those other guys? I wonder where that is. Get the kids to Talmberg Armory. That's where we've got to get their hairs. We've got to go to Skullets, or is that gone now? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Quickly going to our journal. Uh, scavenger. Do me a favour and punch me. Ah, okay. A, B, and C. So we can go back and beat Milan. Uh, what is this shop? It's a tavern, I'm assuming. Go in there and get drunk. We don't really want to go and get drunk. What's this dude doing? Uh, what's up in here? It hasn't come up. A huntsman, okay. We'll see what this guy wants. You might have to go and hunt some things for him. God be with you. And you, my friend. Training, hunting. I'd like you to show me some hunting tricks. Certainly. Uh, beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Of course it will. Isn't that quite a lot? It is quite a lot. Satisfied? Go down to fifty and see what he says. You're a right pinch purse. <laughs> so are you, my friend. What about this? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. Ah, 53. Agree. Now, listen up. Ah, good. We improved our hunting. Let's eat from the pot. Thank you, my friend. Oh, we're a bloody pig. How much do we have? 106, so not too bad. Um, player skills, hunting. 
Antlers. And we should get antlers from hunted animals. Tusks. Get offal from hunted game. Able to skin dead animals. Will cause wild animals 20% more damage. Less skittish. Ah, good. Salty. White spoils fast. Steak tartar. Now we can. Ah, awesome. It'd be good to actually get through all this stuff and actually be a hunter. I reckon being a hunter would be awesome. We check out our map again. So there's like four spots up here and two on the other side. Church. Uh, this is like a blacksmith, I assume. Archery range. Blacksmith. Grindstone. Where's the church? Well, obviously in the way. Where's the other grindstones outside? Okay, there we go. Let's have a quick look. Grindstone. Okay, there's two grindstones, a blacksmith and the archery range. Wouldn't mind going to the archery range and seeing what happens in there. Let's talk to this fellow and tell him we're a fellow blacksmith. Not that we really know what we're doing. About repairs. Okay, so he'll repair things for us. No, don't worry about that. I, was I thought he might have been able to train us with a few things. About retay. Um, uh, I don't really care about any of that stuff. It's got charcoal. We don't need charcoal. Oh look, we could have brought a buddy common shield. This would have been better. Hunting arrows, 0.8. Ordinary arrows, so there's not much difference. They're 80 damage to 90 damage, they're heaps cheaper. The wounding arrow, let's sort by damage. The piercing arrows are the best, of course. Sort by the cheapest. We can get an old bas bassinet, bassinet, or a skull cap. Common two-piece kettle hat. Farm horseshoes. Ah, oh, that'll be interesting. We we'll probably need horseshoes once we um get out. Actually, go back in. I didn't see what those books were. Not that we're really gonna be able to afford to buy anything. Ah, uh, sharp as a knife. Sharpening and honing, we really need that, but I'm not paying that much of <laughs> we're really running out of money at the moment. We're running out of groschen. Go through here. So the archery range okay, so it's down there. We need to go down somehow. But that must be the church. Oh, discovered another nest. Is it in here? On the map, where are you? Okay, turn around. It's in here somewhere. There. It's only one Groshen. Come on, we need to give us something better than that. I mean, one's better than none, but come on. I'm sick of seeing these bloody beggars. I just want to punch them in the face. Like, seriously. Go hunting. Get a job. Do something. Um, a cobbler, which is... <laughs> three legs. The three-legged cobbler. Hello. Assuming she does shoes, of course. Uh, let's talk trade. It's all shoes. Wow, okay. Let's go by price. Old boots. What sort of boots have we got on at the moment? Doesn't say. Okay. High boots, working boots, slippers, burglar slippers. Does that make you quieter? Oh, fair enough. Some good boots. Fashionable slippers. <laughs> Dark shoes, just normal shoes. Oh, there's some expensive bloody shoes in there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Everything. Oh, there's another tavern. Okay, so that's it for inside the town. There's probably still a few. There's a one spot out here. Um, 
unexplored place. Let's quickly run out and see what that is, and we'll come back to the archery range, and then we'll call it the end of an episode, I think. near this place yet. I assume this will be like the farmer's area or the miller. How far away are we? Ah, to the left. There we go. We're going the wrong way. So I really need to yeah, keep an eye out for all these things. I should probably go um, picking herbs and stuff off camera. Do a lot of herb picking. Ah, combat arena. There's no one around to fight. And there's nothing to steal. Not that we really want to steal anything, but... Oh, there's a pig. We could do with some pig meat. Godspeed. Um, let's run back in and quickly do the archery thing. See if we can do a bit of archery training. One thing I'd like to see added is the crosshair. Oh, conciliation cross. Ah, there he is. Carol Bushman. Have you seen our live stream? Um, I think it was Fritz that said that that is possibly the backers of the game or even developers of the game or something. Their names, so. Aha, the archery guy's here, so we'll come down and talk to him. Or her. No, it's a him. It's a he. Can we take these? Thank you. You got any more? Hey! Hey, what? More arrows in here? Ah, well, let us take them. We'll talk to the archery master. God be with you. God be with you too. Um, about Rete. Are you serious? We can't train. Can we like just practice here or something? That's not a bad shot. Oh, there you go. So he's reloading now. Did that miss completely? Look, oh, you missed the second one. Where did it go? That's a dandelion. Not really what we want. We want our arrow back. No idea where it went, but that was a pretty terrible shot. <laughs> I thought he might have... um helped us, trained us or something, but I don't think he really wants to. Right now then guys, what we'll do is we'll call it the end of an episode. Um, next episode, what should we do? Get drunk. No, we're not going to go and get drunk. Um, we've got the bars, so we can probably do that over night time. We've got to come down here and obviously talk to um, Sir Radzig. Um, that's an interesting sight. Got a few other missions up here. We we'll possibly fight. Oh, there's another spot there. Um, yeah, I think we we'll possibly fight these other guys as well. I think there's one here, one here, one here, and one here, or something. Yes, yeah, so the next episode we'll um we'll do the bars first, I think, and then we'll go down and see this guy down here. So we'll have to um. Oh, inventory, what time is it? Where's our time? Two o'clock in the afternoon, so plenty of energy still. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the episode, what you think of the game so far, what you do and don't want to see. Would you like me to show you me exploring the towns as a whole episode like we just did, or you prefer me just to do that off camera and just do action stuff? You know, you guys let me know, I'd rather... Um, show you guys what you want to see and not show you guys what you don't want to see. I know there's going to be probably people that do want to see it and people that don't, but leave it in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, as I said, like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, um, and don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button to receive a notification every time I upload. And don't forget to keep an eye out for this series every Tuesday night at 6pm Australian Eastern Standard Daylight Savings Time. It's been Brito's Gaming. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.